Welcome to part two of my video series on the TAX Neo Bike Smart. In part one, we unbox and put everything together. The bike is now built. And in today's video, I'm going to be applying my bike fit measurements to the TAX Neo Bike Smart so I can jump off my bike outdoors onto this bike indoors and get my training done. I'll be looking at configuring my road position and time trial position on the bike. The Neo Bike Smart has five points of adjustment, those being saddle height up and down, fore and aft. Handlebars, again, up and down, fore and aft, and three crank lengths you can choose from, from 170 through to 175 mil. At this point in time, Tax have opted to go with more generic bike fit information included here in the manual, rather than taking your existing bike fit measurements and apply them to the Tax Neo Bike Smart. The information contained here within the manual will get you ballpark close, but always bring a tape measure for good measure. All five adjustment points on the Tax Neo Bike Smart are marked out, so there's nothing stopping Tax in the near future, adding some value there within their app, so you can input your saddle height, reach, crank length, etc., and it could then output the markings you need to configure on the Neo Bike Smart to get you rolling. I think that would be a good value add. Okay, let's kick things off with a few quick questions answered right here. I'll be looking at Q factor, how far apart are the pedals on the bike, maximum and minimum saddle heights, bar width and clamp size, saddle width and details, and the overall footprint of the bike. Jumping straight into the answers for those, the Q factor of the Neo bike is 147 mil, so it matches that of a standard Shimano road crank set. And for reference, most mountain bikes are around 170 mil apart, so definitely road bike Q factor on the Neo bike smart. Onto the minimum and maximum saddle heights as measured in the Llama Lab by myself. Uh, minimum, squeezed down to 64 centimeters, and maximum saddle height, 94 and a half centimeters. So I couldn't touch the pedals on that setting. The handlebars on the Tax Neo Bike Smart measure 42 and a half centimeters center to center. It is an oversized clamp, so 31.8 mil, and they are interchangeable, so you can swap them out if you like. The stem is fixed, you can't change the stem out, and the handlebar tape is physique. It is brilliant stuff. The supplied saddle is a Cell Royal brand that is 280 millimeters long and 145 millimeters wide. So a little wider than most standard road bike saddles, but it's nice and comfortable indoors. And finally, the physical footprint information of the Tax Neo Bike Smart. Width wise, 750 mil wide on the widest part and lengthwise, there's two lengths, one from the back of the bike to the front of the levers and then to the front of the fans. So we have 1250 mil to the front of the levers and 1500 mil to the front of the bike with the fans. Okay, time to jump over to the Llama Lab and compress everything down to the minimum settings. We'll expand everything out to the maximum settings and then we'll apply my road bike fit and time trial bike fit to the Neo Bike Smart. Okay, first up, configuring everything to the smallest setting and then we'll look at the measurements for the smallest rider fit. So everything being pulled in and down as far as possible. The numbers we have here for the minimum fit, the smallest sizing of the Neo Bike Smart, 640 millimeters saddle height, 410 millimeters reach, 535 drop, and 170 mil crank size. Now indicated there is the bottom bracket height from center to floor is 300 mil. So saddle height is probably the most important thing to look at there. Reach, that's very, very short. Taking things to the other extreme, we will go all the way out. So saddle all the way up, all the way back. And you will notice on the front of the bike, there's no markings on the fore and after the handlebars. This has been pointed out to Tax, who are resolving this issue ASAP on this unit. So all other units will have the markings on the front handlebars too. So getting that up to maximum height there, you can see it's almost up to my chest height. It is massive. So saddle height there, 945 millimeters, nearly a meter of saddle height, absolutely massive. 840 reach, 810 drop, and 175 mil cranks. That thing is the biggest smart bike that I've come across. Uh, should be able to fit anybody on that. With the maximum and minimums now out of the way, it's over to apply my bike sizing to the bike. So taking some just general measurements here, 775 mil, so 77 and a half saddle height, 730 reach, 605 drop, and the cranks uh, 172.5s. I've also listed there the 95 mil setback, but I've got a little asterisk next to that because setback is dependent on the saddle type. It's a stubby nose saddle. The saddle on the Neo bike is three centimeters longer. So that needs to be taken into account. So do watch that if you're looking at setback based on saddle. Probably go for the middle of the saddle for those setup options. Okay, so saddle all the way down. Now the saddle is an interesting one 
based on the fore and aft because as soon as you change the saddle fore and aft the height changes to the distance from the center bottom bracket so I've made myself a little tool here by eye that needs to be back six and a half centimeters you can see that moving it back and forward changes the saddle height so just it's a two-dimensional measurement I guess you'd call it all oh, looks pretty good okay we'll tighten everything up okay saddle height is done. If my numbers were printed out on a little app, it would say 12 and a little bit for the saddle height and 13 and a little bit for the fore and aft. Squeezing this down for the reach that I need and then taking into account the extra height of the bottom bracket of the bike. Getting the reach right. You can see that it's pretty easy to move things around. Okay, we'll tighten everything down, stepping on the bike for the first time with my measurements. Saddle height feels good, reach feels good. In the drops. No, I'm not in my bike gear, but something just feels a little off with the levers. Now, the hands are especially important on a bike. You spend a lot of your time on your hands. Well, most of the time riding a bike on the hands. So that needs to be comfortable. Now, this wasn't as comfortable as what I'd like, so I'm just gonna adjust the tilt of the bars here by taking off the bracket loosening up the stem tilting them up just a little bit clamping those back down you can see it's a pretty easy task there with the tools and this made an absolute work i cannot explain how much difference that made just tilting those up a little bit with the feeling of the hands there felt exactly like my outdoor bike with the angles that i use there so super important to get the hand angles right to make everything feel like, well, obviously your bike. Gear changes, just testing those out. We'll cover those in another video. Alrighty, now onto the time trial bar install with the clip-on bars that I have. The ski bends bend perfectly in front of the screen, so there's no interference there. The width is a little limited with this wide stem. With the standard 31.8 mil um, bar type these go on not a problem at all and the pad drop to floor taking into account the little higher bottom bracket on this unit we will undo that slam it all the way down once that lever is out of the road I should have had that facing forward anyway okay there we go we're down and we have pad drop absolutely nailed spot on the saddle is a little trickier. 35 mil forward for my TT position. The increments on the Tax Neo Bike Smarter are only in uh, 10 mil increments. So you sort of have to do a little guesswork in between. Okay, that's on. And when moving the seat forward, you need to move the saddle up a little bit because it shortens the length between the top of the saddle and the center bottom bracket. So that needs to come up just a little bit. Reverse lever out, that up just a little bit. And making sure the reach, the center of the saddle to the pads is ballpark where I need it to be. Okay, I'm just gonna push that up a little further. It's actually a rainstorm happening in the background there, so good day to be inside on one of these bikes. Okay, lengthwise, we are good. Lock that in place. And we'll finally end up throwing a leg over and seeing how it feels in my TT position. So the front end here, you can see a little wider than normal because that's um, the stem. But if you want to get funky and get some custom pads there, I'm sure you could get your position dialed in. And for the bars that I have, they're not interfering with the front of the bike. Uh, tacks also don't have any uh, options for blips or changes on the end at this point. So it'll just be uh, clip-ons with the gear changes on the outside levers. Okay, into the TT position and it is nailed. I feel, well, not as fast as I once was, but that's my TT position I've used for years and years outdoors. I'm looking forward to kidding up and getting a few sessions dialed in in this position. Good to roll. Okay, there we are. The Tax Neo Bike Smart pushed and pulled in all different ways and my road and TT bike fit applied to it. In summary here, do note that these smart bikes have effectively multiple frame sizes given the expandability. It's not just a saddle up and down and bars up and down. It goes in almost all directions. 
I'll put this quick reference chart in the video description below as well. And do note the customizable parts are the bars, the handlebars, the saddle, and the pedals. The clip-on TT bars that I had for my time trial position on the Neo Bike Smart went on no problems at all. But do be aware if you need to get nice and close, that uh, stem is quite wide. You will need to come up with a custom pad solution, but there are a ton of solutions out there on the internet these days to get your arms and shoulders and reach in just the right spot to match your outdoor bike. Neo Bike Transition. Of course, I had to throw one of those in. Okay, there we are, the Tax Neo Bike Smart, adjusted in all different ways, and my fit applied seems to go okay. Now what's left? Well, I've got to ride that thing, so stay tuned for that. Remember to hit subscribe to support this channel and be notified when that video goes up. Thanks for watching.